Oh, uh, it's digital nomadish in offline mode again. I mean, I'm on a limited budget, but I do have a Ukrainian SIM card from Vodafone. I just bought it over there somewhere. But why use up my bandwidth when I can record an offline video and then upload it later over Wi-Fi when I go someplace where they have Wi-Fi? But, I mean, I'm in full deja vu mode, full digital Madison mode, because my head is spinning here in Kiev, where I was in 2017 and 18. And I just met one of my good friends from back then. He and I had breakfast, I guess, at Pazata Hada, whatever you call that place. And then we've been walking around the city. And so now I already have my lodging secured for the evening. And I have to figure out, like, what am I going to do? I could conceivably go back tomorrow. That would be hard. 24 hours to get back to Vienna. Monday. That would be ridiculous. But I'd have to check into that. Now, this is my Don. And this definitely was not here the last time I was here because there's a war going on and there's all these memorials out here. And that's my Don. There's that arch thing, the Friendship Arch. I think they tore down something over there. And then this is different, though. Oh, that's a lot different. Because I used to say freedom is my religion, I think. Over there, that's gone. And then... Otherwise, it doesn't look a lot different. But that's that's new or it's changed or something. And then McDonald's is over there. You can see it. McDonald's is way down there. That's McDonald's. The ballet hospital's up the street. I'm not staying there because I'm not. But that was the ballet hospital. And that's the post office. I know that. That's the post office. And the government office. I mean, this is the center of the city. That's like the post office, government office. That's my Don, a bunch of hotels. That's some sort of theater over there. I never went in there, but that's a theater. And then this whole complex is Globus. It's Sunday. So there's probably not a whole lot going on down in Globus. But there's got to be something. Some things got to be open in the tunnels, in the subway tunnels, which is where I just was. And then that Friendship Arch thing up there, I had read on the news of the newspaper that they tore down part of that monument. And, and that is definitely different. I wonder what happened to that. I mean, I'm not sure if it's even, it might be a new building, but I don't think so. But I tell you, for the most part, well, here's, here's the subway. Let's go down here. I should probably turn off my camera, but that's the, <clears throat> the metro. Yeah, there's not a lot going on down here. Flower shops and stuff. And most everything's closed. Now this is where I got mugged somewhere around here. More than once. I was robbed once. That wasn't so bad. Because I just sit here, take my other phone. And then I was mugged once. That was more dangerous. I could have gotten killed during that incident because it was at 2 o'clock in the morning and the guy had a knife and he mugged me from behind. So you do have to be careful in Ukraine and pretty much any city. If you're in the metro at 2 o'clock in the morning alone in the dark and no one else is around, that's stupid.
And there's there's the Sophia Cathedral way up there. I was just up there. And then the TIU Cachada Hostel. If it's still here, it should be just over there somewhere. So I need to go walk. I mean, I should just walk back to the hostel. It certainly doesn't seem like there's a going on. Today, I shouldn't talk because they have missiles coming in every now and then, but but there are many, many fewer people. So I should check into getting an apartment. I mean, why not move to Ukraine? You know, digital nomad, three months here, leave, come back, leave, come back, go somewhere else, three months, leave, come back. That would be fun. There's Aroma Cabo. These places are everywhere. Aroma Cabo. You want a coffee on the street, go buy one there. Posata Hata, that's how you say it. Those are, that's like, you know, Burger King for Ukrainians, because they serve good food there. That's not Burger King, it's just good food and a restaurant. Now, I stayed, that's a hotel. I stayed there once, I think. And TIU, this is Ukraine hostel, is on the other side of the street somewhere. Now, should I go there? No, it'd be a waste of time because I already have a hostel reservation. Or should I go there later, maybe, to say hello and like, hey, I stayed here seven years ago, where's your cat? That white cat that you had. Maybe I should go over there. I think it might be this door. It's somewhere in there. You go back to the courtyard and walk around and then to the right, go straight. There's a door there, ring the buzzer. Hey, do you have any rooms at the hostel? I need to go back and insert this into my ebook. It's like Ukraine. How do you like mix multiple chronological dates into a single book chapter when part of the chapter is in a subsequent chapter that hasn't been read yet by the reader? The reader would get confused. They say, what are you talking about? I didn't know that. And you say, well, yeah, it's because you didn't skip ahead and read the rest of my book. Now what? Uh, I mean, that's a big, that's an important building there, too, that one. Oh, there's Mafia. Yeah, Mafia. Now, what do they do? I don't know, they sell burgers, maybe. But that's Italian. Am I in the Mafia? I don't know, maybe. I mean, Italians are connected to Mafia. And there's a pizza shop somewhere. Oh no, maybe that was it. Uh, Mar that mean Mafia Pizza. That might have been it. I think it was pizza. Oh no, this is a long tunnel. And it's cold out, I need some gloves. Woo!
Okay. I mean, I probably don't want to go that way, but that goes out to the Dnipro or Dnipro River, I think. If I go straight, it goes that general direction. That's Krishatic. That's some sort of government building. And then I just came up this way just not too long ago. And so I guess I should go back the way I can and go back to Pasata Hata or walk by it and then I'll kind of know where I am. Now, what's this? Oh, European Union. Something. Because it says so. European Union. Advisory mission. European Union advisory mission. I mean, I have to say, for a place that's supposed to have, like, a ton of corruption, it's really easy once you get here to just kind of do your own do your business get a sim car get a hostel meet up with a friend have breakfast there's not a lot of security people around but some and I had to ask when I arrived at the train station I said hey can I take a video inside of the train station and of course not probably not because people you know the faces are shown and if someone sees them says hey what are they doing at the train station? They might even say, "Where?" I didn't even know that person was still alive. They're they're in Kiev at the train station, you know. So, oh, I gotta remember to do this too. I got a lot of stuff to do. I need a laptop. I mean. The U.S. State Department has a set step program. I forget what it's called, but State Department something traveler something something program. If you're an American citizen and you're traveling abroad, especially for an extended period of time, extended period of time, and you're traveling alone, you might want to let the U.S. State Department know, like, hey why are you not in Austria? And I'd say, well, that's because I went to Ukraine and I used my U.S. passport to get there. So, ask them. You know, check my passport and see if I actually traveled to Ukraine. And I'd say, well, where are you in Ukraine? Well, I'm at a hostel. And they say, well, which one? And I say, well, it's the one I used my credit card to pay for a night there. But if you really want to know, I can put it on your State Department program thingy and give you my key phone number with Vodafone. So if you need to get in touch with me urgently or someone needs to get in touch with me urgently, they can call me on my Vodafone number, maybe, or one of my other two or three numbers that I actually have with me, or one of the other 10 that don't work but that I still have SIM cards for. And you can contact me that way. But honestly, just send an email. And that might be the easiest way to verify that I'm reachable. And, I mean, I'm having fun now because I've walked this route, you know, several times. I don't know how many, but at least several. And I'm going downhill which is much better than going uphill if you have a hip replacement. And my friend, now he's got two bum legs. I mean, he's in worse shape than I am, and he's probably younger than me. So I feel like I'm, hey, what's wrong with you? I'm 66, and you can't keep up with me? 
Well, yeah, that's because his legs are fucked up. Oh, I'm sorry. Those legs are messed up. And it is a little cold, though. I, I didn't pack enough clothes because I didn't think I was just going to stay here permanently. But now I might now that I'm here. Okay, now I kind of know where I am because there's that big Ferris wheel thing out there in the distance. And then here's the river, and the other side of Key is, you know, that whole other side of the city is big. I mean, it reminds me a little bit of Budapest. You know, it's like you got two separate cities on each side of a big river. In Budapest, it's the Danube, Donau, and then in Ukraine, it's that, that thing, the Dnieper Dnieper. And on this side, you know, it's probably more Ukrainian in some ways. And the other side, I have no idea. But now another thing about the metro system here is that the Soviet Union purportedly designed and built that thing. At least, you know, they were the government in charge when it was built. But who built it? Well, the people designed it. The people actually did the labor to build it. A whole bunch of people built it. Probably slaves, maybe, at the time. I don't know. But the Arsenal Station in Kiev, I think, is either the deepest or one of the second or third deepest subway stations in the entire world. And I was just on the Maidan one. That one is not, but that one is still really deep. So the Arsenal one, I should go back to that and like ride it again just to go, hey, how deep is that one? It's a, that's a really deep metro station. All right. I should sign off and then like go back to the house and upload this thing because it's what, almost 19 minutes long now.